the old days, they used to beat it with whips. Boys said, don't do it that way. He asked me to 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 do it that way. Every now and then. Well, now there are, as I said, first theory is the Western theory, which is the nature of rather degraded medicine that is now practiced. When you go to the hospital for a medical examination, you are treated as a machine. They process you. You're not a person. You're put in a wheelchair immediately. Even if you were perfectly healthy to walk, nevertheless they have to have you in a wheelchair. And they put you through a process. And the heart specialist looks only at your heart because he can't understand anything else. The otorhinolaryngologist, which means an ear, nose, and throat man, looks at that section of you and he doesn't know about anything else. Maybe a psychiatrist takes a look at you. Basic to all Hindu thought is the 
idea that the world is Maya. That is a Sanskrit word which means many things. It means magic, illusion, art, play. All the worlds of space. And in the Hindu idea, there is the ultimate reality of the universe is the self, which they call Brahman. That's what there is. The self. Universal, eternal, boundless, indescribable. And everything that happens, happens on the self. Like you say, it's on me. The drink is not on me. Uh, or like we say, uh, when you hear the radio, it's on the speaker. You see, everything you hear on the radio, Flutes, drums, human voices, traffic noises, any imaginable sound, all those sounds are vibrations of the diaphragm in the The radio doesn't tell you. The announcer doesn't come on and say every morning, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is KQED. The following sounds that you are going to hear are vibrations of your the diaphragm in your speaker. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for listening. Thank you, James. <laughs> that was gold. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Next up is D O M.